Do you have it, this computer, uh, this all-in-one, and you want to open this up? Surely you have seen this uh, video on YouTube, but in this case, this uh, laptop, I mean, this all-in-one is different, and if you do exactly what uh, this guy says on the video, you're going to break it. So I'm going to teach you for real, at least with this model, uh, what you have to take um, in consideration when you have to do this. So in this case, uh, we are going to work with a 520, 27 i KL, this is a Lenovo F, uh, F0D0. So I'm going to teach you uh, what I did because when I follow that that video, I had a problem and I broke uh, the serial connector. Also, I'm going to teach you if you, in case if you broke the serial connector, <laughs> uh, how to fix it. So it's very easy, cheap, and that's it. So uh, basically, when you have the the computer uh, the way you see it right now, uh, you have the the stand and you have to remove the the stand. So in order to do that, first of all, you have to remove the screws that you see here and here. So you, here you have three uh, screws, and I think you have another one over there, and here. Uh, in this case, I had a tape that was covering almost all the arrow that you see here. So basically, what you have to do in order to avoid uh, breaking the, the connector, you have to push it like that. So when you, you push it all the way, you're going to check the DVD and this uh, the DVD is going to be free. So once you do this, you, uh, you're going to be able to remove the screws. You have three screws uh, here, so you have to re remove them all. And you have to do something else. So besides uh, what he was showing over there, that you have to start uh, prying all the side of the all in one, that you can do that. You're going to find this. This screw, you follow the arrow, and this is going to lift it uh, maybe one inch or something like that, and that will help you to start a uh, prime all the side of the um, all in one. So I'll show you the the rest. So as you can see here, uh, I have the, the the DVD, and the reason why I broke the um, the connector. So in this case, the connector is is like that, as you can see over there. This is how is the connector, and it comes with uh, two screws. The thing is, because this is uh, with the screws, and you when you lift the the cover up, uh, this is the, the, the these screws are going to stay. <laughs> You're going to break this uh, connector here. So in order to fix that, if that is your case, it's very easy. So you're going to reuse this connector. You're going to cut the, you have two cables here. You have the data. This is a regular SATA, so you can buy it anywhere. And you have the, the power. The power is going to be the most difficult to find. I couldn't find it. I found it on a new egg, but they didn't have it in the stock. So I said, and I couldn't find it anywhere else. So if you want, you can pause the video. And you can see the information here. So this is the, the connector that you're going to need if you want to replace it with the same thing. Otherwise, you can buy an adapter, as you can see here, with this. So this is a SATA, a regular SATA. And here you have the slim power. So this is what you're going to use. So what I did is I cut this uh, end, as you can see here. I cut the end. You have the blue. Uh, you have the red and the red, uh, the red and the black one. So you're going to use the same connector that I got it uh, here. You're going to have it here. So try to use as much cable as possible. So in this case, this is what I, I did. I used the red one, the uh, the red one and the white one. So the red one is the positive, and the the black, the white one, and the yellow is the the negative but in this case just i use the the white one and the red one so i connect the red one with red and the black one the black one with the white one and that's it and it works just fine uh, i didn't have any issue at least for now so i'm going to show you that this is is working i just plug it in so you push the button here and there you go so it's open is open um, just fine now I'm, what i'm going to do uh, about uh, RAM, I'm going to put uh, 32 gigs in the on the website. It says that you can put a maximum two of uh, eight, so 16 uh, gigs in total. But I'll give you a shot with 32, and I see how it goes. So, in case if it works, 
ask me and I'll try to do it, uh, show you later. So this is what I have used. So yeah, as you can see, it, I bought it on uh, Micro Center, but if you need something like that, you're outside of the United States, you cannot find them, whatever. This is the brand, Skill, and just let me know and I can ship it to you. So the good thing about this RAM, the, I mean this computer, is that you can replace the, the CPU, so that is cool, and you can add uh, more RAM. <laughs> that is uh, cool as well. The only thing I don't like is all the plastic and everything. So you have everything that you have to remove. I mean, it should be easier. It should be just a few screws, like other computers, and uh, take it out, and that's it. So hopefully this was useful. If you have any questions, please let me know, and see you next time. All right, you have the, the cover off. I explained in another video how to remove the cover. So if you have any question, you can go to my channel or just ask me for the link. I'll send it to you. So basically, when the you, when you have the the hard drive, the old hard drive, basically what you have to do is you have to remove the, the screws. The hard drive is in this position. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it off. Or you're going to remove it. And then you have to buy this adapter. This adapter, ad ad adapter look, you can get, get it on Amazon. It's very easy. I can leave the link in the description. So if you want to buy it, and then you put any SSD. And then, so that way, it will not be shaking or anything like that because the the regular drive is 3.5 inches and this is 2.5 so that is why you need the adapter once you put the adapter you put it back put the screws plug it in and that's it if you have any questions just let me know and i'll try to guide you right as you can see the dvd is working so i'm installing a new windows 10 and that's it so everything worked out as it should so now in a little bit more we should be ready to be using this computer all right as you can see the dvd is working properly the computer is working properly as well with 32 gigs of ram it didn't work so i had to put a two sticks of eight gigs each and we are using nanite to download all the software that you see over there. So everything original, everything good. Hopefully this was helpful for you. And see you next class. All right, as you can see, the DVD is working properly. The computer is working properly as well with 32 gigs of RAM, it didn't work. So I had to put a, two sticks of eight gigs each. And we are using Nanite to download all the software that you see over there. So everything original, everything good. Hopefully this was helpful for you. And see you next class.